In 1909, Rutherford designed an experiment setup with fast moving alpha particles that were made to fall on a thin gold foil. In this experiment, the gold foil is thin layer 6.0 into 10 power minus 5 centimeters consists with 1000 atoms and alpha particles consist of two protons and two neutrons bound together. The alpha particles do not have any electrons but they are positively charged with two units of charge. In his experimental setup, there is a radioactive source, radium, an alpha particle emitter of the fast moving alpha particles which have a considerable stream of high energy particles. The stream of alpha particles is directed toward a very thin gold foil which was placed inside a detector. Through the slit of the detector so that the detector shows a flashlight when the alpha particles strike it. Note On an average, for every 20,000 alpha particles that were fired at the gold foil during Rutherford's famous experiment, only one was reflected back. The entire arrangement was kept in a vacuum chamber which prevents the scattering by air molecules. Rutherford expected that all the alpha particles would be deflected only a little bit by the positive charge spread evenly throughout the gold atoms when the alpha particles would strike the thin gold foil. Because, according to the Thomson model, electrons and protons are equally distributed throughout the atom. So, if high velocity alpha particles are bombarded on an atom, there would be very little deflection in particles. But this experiment gave totally unexpected results that most of the fast alpha particles passed straight through the atom's gold foil without any deflection. Also, only very few particles were deflected through large angles and a very, very small number of particles were reflected right back. To understand the implications of this experiment, let us do a simple activity. Let us do an activity in an open field to understand the results of Rutherford's experiment. Click each tab to know more. Take some stones. Throw them at the wall from a distance and observe the changes. Similarly, throw some stones at the badminton net from a distance and observe the changes. We hear a sound when each stone strikes the wall, but if we throw a badminton net with considerably big gaps, a lot of them would pass through the gaps. In the same way, Rutherford found that most of the particles passed through the gold foil like stones thrown at big gaps. Finally, he concluded from the alpha particle scattering experiment that most of the space inside the atom is empty because most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil without getting deflected. A very few alpha particles that were deflected right back indicated that they had met a very large positive charge and mass which repelled the charge on the alpha particle. So, all the positive charge must be concentrated in a very small space within the atom. Therefore, Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment led to the discovery of positively charged center which was given the name atomic nucleus. On the basis of his experiment, Rutherford put forward the nuclear model of an atom.